hey guys welcome back to my channel if you have not already subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you are updated with all of my new videos today's video is going to be on fake beauty marks so i tried out this look uh i was inspired by influencer uh her name is damien i'll leave her youtube down below created this faux freckle slash beauty mark look by using gel liquid liner Do not forget to like and subscribe to keep updated with all of my new content uh thank you guys so much for supporting and for watching and continue watching if you, if you want to see how i achieved this look so to start off we're just going to spray our face with a primer i use the scandinavia primer setting spray and this allows my face to absorb the product better and to you know have the foundation to go on smoothly i'm using the l'oreal true match foundation in cream cafe w8 and that is my complexion and i'm going to be using the nars radiant creamy concealer in biscuit this concealer is so blendable you guys like it's amazing i've been using it for a while now i stopped using the tarte shape tape because i felt like it was too thick the consistency was too thick and this is way lighter so now i'm going to go ahead and with ebony stick foundation from anastasia and i'm going to be going in with my contoured areas just you know defining those areas and i'm going to be blending all of that out with a beauty blender be sure that your beauty blender is damp because you want to make sure that the contour goes on smoothly and it blends out smoothly as well and you don't have any like patches or anything that looks bad on your face and you can see it with the flash you know that's just not cute I usually contour my eyes, especially when I know I'm not going to be putting a lot of eyeshadow on. And for this look, it's just basically liner and red lips. And that's what I'm going to be focused on right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose and highlight. And use, this, use this concealer to just go ahead and define my nose a little bit. Once I'm finished... With that, I'm just going to be going in with the Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. And I'm going to be setting my face for those areas that tend to crease up with the concealer. So using this, it won't be any creasing or oiliness throughout the day. So that's perfect for me. And now going in with this LA Colors Matte Palette, I'm going to be using the shade just to use as my transition shade. And then I'm going to go in with this dark brown and I'm going to be putting that on my lid up to my crease area. I'm really not going to be focusing too much on the eyeshadow for this look. It's just, just to pop on some type of dimension for my eyes. Using this Wet n Wild pencil, eyebrow pencil, I'm going to be going in and I'm going to be defining my brows. I haven't been using a lot of pomades pomades lately i'm just been using this pencil and it's been working perfect because my eyebrows are very thin now since i wax them and so i like how they look when they're a little lighter they look a little bit more natural so i'm just going to be defining that with a concealer and i'm using the la girl concealer in cool tan to outline my brows once i'm done with that you're going in with the sigma beauty line ace liquid liner i'm going to be creating a wing uh it's going to be just a very small skinny wing and once i do my wing i'm just going to be putting on some mascara and using this great lash mascara from maybelline lots of lashes i'm just going to be going in with that and i'm going to be coating my lashes so then I can pop on these beautiful lashes from Declix Beauty. I'm going to be using it in the Lash Lucky. That's the name of the lash, I believe. And these lashes are so pretty, you guys. They're mink lashes, but I've been using them for weeks now and they look exactly the same. Once I put the lashes on, using my MAC, dark deepest mineralizer i'm gonna be going in with 
that for all of my contoured areas. I'm just going to be chiseling up my cheeks, warming up my face a little bit, just to make my face look a little bit more inviting and warm and natural. And using Ruby Woo from MAC, I'm going to be putting that on my lips. You guys, this is the best red lipstick that I have ever owned in my life. Going in with my Scandinavia Finish Setting Spray, I'm just going to be putting that on my skin and then I'm going to be using the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati from Artist Couture and I'm using an e.l.f. fan brush to apply it right under my brow bone as well and then I'm just going to be, you know, going in in like a back and forth motion using that brush just to create that highlight and I'm putting that on my nose bridge as well. Using, the, using that same Sigma Line Ace eyeliner, I'm going to be putting on faux beauty marks. And I'm just basically trying to figure out where I want those marks to be on my face. Just by looking in the mirror and just playing around, you know, and finding random spots to put them in. It's no particular order or no particular way. Just kind of figure out where you would want, you know, them to be and just pop it right on there. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning how to create these faux beauty marks. If you guys have any other makeup ideas that you guys want me to try out or makeup looks you guys want me to try out, please comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe, like I said before, because you're going to miss out on my new content. Do not forget to subscribe and like this video and stay updated. Thank you guys for watching.